It's my distinct pleasure to be here with you tonight and thank all of you for joining us and those of you who are participating online. In a few minutes, you'll get a chance firsthand to see the experts behind an amazing Hopkins innovation, the world's most advanced, thought-controlled prosthetic arm. For the past 10 years, we've been driven by a singular purpose of bringing technology forward that could help wounded warfighters. And it turns out in the process, that can help a lot of other people. I kind of bridged the uh, research and, and clinical world, and I'm lucky to have been able to work with um, the patients that we couldn't have, have done this without who have given us the real insight that has allowed this to be a useful technology. My journey began in 2005. That's when I was told that I had cancer. So I was told that they would have to amputate the arm. I am the end result of everybody on this panel. I get to be able to work the most fascinating, the most advanced arm, not only in the United States, but the whole world. Every day I get to combine both my passions of surgery and engineering. Yeah, really, you're seeing the first demonstration of really the evolution of man and machine. Uh, Johnny here has a titanium implant that is going into his humerus that is supporting the modular prosthetic limb. He also has had a surgical procedure called targeted muscle re that reroutes his nerve endings that were cut to residual muscles that are still present. And now he controls that limb simply by thinking those natural movements. The, the framework that's used for the arm is uh, something called the robot operating system. It's called ROS. And uh, the framework of ROS is built um, in C++. And so it's not a, a, a closed architecture. because. Part of what we wanted to do also was to, to provide a capability to stimulate the, the research community. And your support and advocacy is really uh, critical to propelling uh, this great university forward, uh, bringing the benefits of our research and scholarship uh, to the world. Rising to the Challenge is the campaign that we're in the midst of right now, and quite frankly, since 2010, we have raised just more than $3.5 billion for the work at Johns Hopkins. To date, 215,000 individuals and organizations have made more than 600,000 gifts to the institution. We hope that you leave with three thoughts in mind. The inspiration that is provided by the amazing work that our colleagues here are doing. The pride that comes along with being a part of an institution like Hopkins. And finally, the energy to continue your support and to continue being a part of the amazing Johns Hopkins community. Thank you for all that you do.